Jane Eyre is the coming of age story of an orphan girl in early 19th century Britain. In the introduction, 10 year old Jane Eyre lives at Gateshead Hall with her aunt, Mrs. Reed, and the Reed children, Eliza, John, and Georgiana. There she is tormented until one day the apothecary, Mr. Lloyd, comes and suggests she go to school. During the rising action, Jane goes to Lowood Institute, a poor orphan school. She makes friends with Helen Burns, who teaches Jane to control her passions. After a typhus epidemic passes through the school, Helen dies. A new administration comes in. Jane finishes school and teaches for two years before being offered a governess position. She takes the post and moves to Thornfield, where she falls in love with Mr. Rochester. <laughs> One night, she saves his life when she puts out a fire in his room, but she is unsure who set it. Mr. Rochester tells her that a servant, Grace Poole, was responsible. She is called back to her aunt's estate because Aunt Reed is dying. On her deathbed, she tells Jane she does not regret the way she treated her. She reveals that her uncle, John Eyre, has been trying to find Jane to adopt her and leave her his fortune. Mrs. Reed told him that Jane was dead. When Jane returns to Thornfield, Mr. Rochester reveals that he is secretly in love with her. He asks her to marry him. Jane accepts, and they go to get married. However, the marriage is interrupted by a lawyer, Mr. Briggs, who claims Rochester is already married. Rochester admits that he married a mad woman and brings everyone back to Thornfield to reveal his wife, Bertha, living on the third floor, cared for by Grace Poole. Jane forgives him but flees Thornfield and ends up destitute. Mary, Diana, and St. John Rivers take her in and St. John gets her a job teaching in their town. Eventually, he asks her to marry him and move to India, but she does not want to marry him because they are not in love. One day, he reveals to her a letter from Mr. Briggs, who is trying to find Jane so that she can claim her inheritance. It is revealed that the River siblings are her cousins. During the climax, she thinks she hears Rochester's voice calling her name, and she goes to Thornfield. However, in the falling action, the manor is in ruins, as Bertha had set a fire and killed herself. She visits Rochester, who is now blind and handicapped, and they agree to marry. In the resolution, ten years later, they have a son, Rochester has regained some of his sight, and everyone is happy.